Today on the table I have a pocket watch received as a gift for 25 years of work in a coal mine. And this Cotabert Calibre 532 needs service. So welcome on Thinking Watch, my name is Sebastian and let's continue another story about watch making at home with this Cotabert. Okay, so let's begin and let's open the case. It's quite scratchy piece. Ooh, here is quite a lot of scratches. So somebody tried to open it and probably to see the movement. Okay. Okay, it's working. It's in working condition. This is very good sign. I like working movements because what have to be done is only to service. Here I have baskets when I start this assembly and this video will cover only this assembly of the movement. I will put the parts to the basket and then clean them in these baskets. So let's start the disassembly. So first I need to release the mainspring. Okay, there wasn't too much tension on the main spring and now let's lose the screw that is holding winding stem and well mm -hmm, it's not so easy I destroy its damage the screwdriver let's try with different one hmm okay the second one is also damage. So I see here we have the first problem. Okay, but don't worry, I have solution for such problems. So let's start the disassembly without taking the movement from the case. It's also possible. I never show this on my YouTube channel. So maybe here is a possibility to start the disassembly or proceed the disassembly a little bit different way. Now I have to uh, remove the top cover, where is the glass from the face and now I want to remove the hands. That's quite easy. The foil is only to protect uh, the dial. Okay, the second hand. Look at this blue. So the hands are really blue. That's nice. The movement is about from the 1920s. So old watchmaking school. I think now I can remove the ratchet wheel. And all the wheels that are responsible for the mainspring, for winding the mainspring. This is a left threaded screw. Mm -hmm. Let's take this wheel out. This one looks like that, a little bit differently. Here is also some dash and also this spring have to be removed so now I can remove all these three screws that are holding the main spring bridge And this screw, and there is another one, is holding the fits of the dial. So now I want to remove the dial. Okay, there is still something holding it. Probably the screw isn't unscrewed properly. Let's try maybe again. 
Let's try again uh, with this screw. Uh, nothing. Maybe we try to remove the bridge. Mm, here is lifting quite well. But from this side. Okay. With the balance wheel inside, it's a little bit risky. So let's remove the balance wheel. So that we not damage the balance staff. Quite big parts here. Something a little bit differently. Well, maybe it's the same, but bigger comparing to wristwatches. Okay, the balance wheel is removed. So now we can remove the bridge. Okay, it's not so easy as you see. It would be much easier to have uh, the movement on the watch uh, on the movement holder. Okay, so here we have the bridge and uh, here are the feet and I see this screw is still holding the one feet. Therefore was the problem. Uh, we'll push the feet and here we have the dial. Very nice. And let's continue the disassembly. And now I have to remove all these parts here from the killer's work. And I was able to take out the winding stem. So now it will be quite easy to remove other parts. Uh, quite straightforward job here. There is also some ring around the movement okay canyon pinion is removed let's now continue with the train wheels oh something like that can lead to scratches with such an old movement, it's quite risky. Uh, here are gaps where you can put the screwdriver and lift the bridge. We have quite a lot of patina on these bridges. I will also clean this. After cleaning it should be uh, removed, should disappear. Okay, now this small bridge, here's also a gap. A small bridge from the escape and wheel. Hmm. Oh, this one is holding because it has a pins inside. Okay. Now the escape and wheel, or escape wheel. And... We have to remove pellet fork cock bridge. Call it like you want. Okay. Now I need to lift it only a little bit. I hope you're enjoying this music. I don't know which one do you like most. Pellet. And yeah, what's left is the killer's work and this part from the dial sides side. Well, this screw is quite loose, so they weren't holding at all. See, there is an oil, but it's totally dry, so the movement 
didn't see service quite a long time this one have to stay because I have a rust here so it seems that some water came inside and therefore I couldn't unscrew the, this part mm, that's a shame but anyway I will clean it and it will be like new after service oh, here we see quite a lot of rust I will use maybe WD40 and this should help what is left is to take out the main spring from the barrel it's quite easy it's quite easy here is also very dry oil so the watch was working that is a sign that the service before I know when it was was quite good but it have to be repeated and I see the main spring uh, yeah the best years after this main spring should be replaced I don't know if I if I have a spur rather not so this one will have to stay so that's all the parts now I need to cleaning and I hope to see you in the next part when I will be doing assembly of this movement and we will see how it will work. Okay that's all here is the W40 and hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching take care bye bye.